Welcome. All right, so homestead's next weekend. Now there's a few things I need to get done on the bike. First of all, I always need an oil change. Second of all, uh, I got these spring clips and they're gonna help you know, with the safety wiring so I don't have to redo the safety wiring every time. And the last thing I need to do is install the quick shifter, the, the new one that I got from DinoJet. But before I get started, one thing that's a good habit is to keep the garage clean. First thing I'm going to do is warm up the bike. This is going to help with the oil change because hot oil runs smoother and is less gloopy. One little trick I like to use is an extension for the end of this. And as I unscrew this, once it gets to the point where it's really fall out, I could just pull it away. And that way everything just drains in there. I don't have to get oil all over my hands most of the time. So here we go. Whoa! Son of a... Be careful. Oil could just splurt out like this. Got it all over myself. Damn it. I don't know if that's the pan, maybe the angle. Or what? So I don't change oil filters every time I change oil. I change it every third oil change. The reason is you don't really have to change that often. And actually, having the oil filter on there more than through more than one oil change actually helps it with the filtration, or so I've been told. Now, as you can see, there's already a line there, which means I already gone through one oil change with this filter. I'm going to add another line for today. I just take a regular screwdriver and. I'm just going to take the sharp end, I'm going to carve a line. Let me know that I've already done two oil changes on there. I bought these spring clips from curvygrill.com. I've seen these a lot of other racers use them. I don't know why I haven't gotten around to them. They're cheap. Alright, oil bolt. You see there's a hole there. Can I pass this through? Ah, oh, it's through. But, I guess because it's so curved, it, it's not going to work with this. Oil is pretty much drained by now, and at this point, we can go ahead and reinstall our bolts. On to the next part, and fill the oil back up. I have one of these one gallon oil containers. And I have it marked exactly. I'm going to fill it up to that point and I'm just going to dump it right into the engine. While I'm waiting for the oil to drain back down into the pan so I can check the level, I might as well install the first spring clip. The safety wire is basically to prevent this from backing out. If it backs up, if it backs out and comes off, then all this oil in there, when you're making a turn to the right side, could just dump right out. And oil on the track is a bad day for everybody. And this makes it easier because every time I want to change it, change the oil, boom. Take it off the cap, put it back on. Now that the bike's been sitting for about a couple minutes, we can go ahead and check the oil level.
done, we can get to the quick shifter. And this thing right here. I'm gonna install the new one and I'm gonna test it to see if it works. loosely with the shift lever and then I'm, what I'm going to do take my trusty multimeter and use these to test the two wires here it's basically a switch on off switch if I put this on here and put the rod on and I apply a, a force that will turn on the switch in this case is a pull then the resistance between the two switches should change I'm going to take my leads doesn't matter which one goes in which. I'm gonna hold it in there. And I'm gonna turn my voltmeter or my multimeter to the ohms. And if I pull, there we go. Nice. So you can see. When there's a, a pull pressure applied, the resistance is now different. There's open, and that's closed. Sweet. This one works. Let's go ahead and get the rest of it installed. I've got to find a way to really support that tank. Hammer. things had to do was replace the air filter because it wasn't legal. So the reason I'm doing this is because last time I was at Homestead, which is about three weeks ago, I got disqualified in the Super Sport race. Why? Because my air hole looks like this instead of like this. I mean seriously, how much horsepower what kind of advantage? What advantage? Barely half a horsepower, if that. Stock is actually not a bad way to go. Yamaha did a really good job with the R6 when they first uh, designed it and when they first produced it. So going back to this and going to stick with it. Getting that bolt out. First thing I'm gonna try is a left-handed drill bit. getting that bolt out of my steering stabilizer and I actually saw this trick about taking a torque wrench or torque bit and using that as leverage to undo it. So I'm gonna give that a shot because I've already drilled a hole all the way through the bolt and it's still not coming out. Holy crap, it worked! Dang. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There is a hole all the way through the bolt that I drilled. And using that Torx bit and pounding in there so they have something to grab onto, it actually worked. In no time at all. I should have started with that. Either that or drilling off the head, but I didn't want to do that.
done. <laughs>